<laughs> I love him here, <laughs> head coach at Indiana University Southeast. Uh, I, we, we are joined now by Marty Poole, Rick Hezig of Hezig and Poole. They are bringing you, they are the title sponsor for the game, and we thank them. Gentlemen, uh, if you have questions for any of the players or Coach Denny Crum, if you would, fire away. Uh, Rick Hezig, Marty Poole, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Coach Crum, I just want to tell you, I grew up here in Louisville, and our basketball team was always striving, never arriving. But in 1980, you got us there. And, you know, things were tough, but you did get us there. I just have a question. Like, today, with the uh, coronavirus, with all of the social distancing, can you imagine or what you would be doing today to try to keep a team together? Well, I'm glad I don't have to do it. I can tell you that. Uh, it's a t it's a tough thing. It winning champ national championships it just doesn't happen, you know, by accident. I mean, we put together the team that we thought would be competitive, and we ended up winning it in 1980. Uh, but we had a special. Uh, thing going because we had Daryl Griffith and whenever things would get tough I'd call Daryl a play for Daryl and he'd score for us and so we had a an advantage because they nobody could guard him one on one and we just used him whenever we needed him and then there were the games like you had talked about a little earlier with uh, with, with uh, Ohio State. Ohio State. Mm -hmm. No, the one about uh, LSU. LSU. Oh yeah, the mm -hmm. regional final. Yeah, we we. <laughs> I had a dinner with a friend the night before, and he said, "Well." Oh, you've had a good year, and you know, you know, you, you everything is kind of falling into place for you. But he said it's it's over now. <laughs> and I said, "What do you mean it's over?" And he said, "Well, we're you got to play LSU, who was the number two, I think, two ranked team in the country." And I said, yeah. And he said, well, you're not going to beat that team. <laughs> and I said, we'll beat that team by 20. <laughs> and he said, what? You, you're going to beat LSU by 20? He said, what have you been smoking? <laughs> So I said, well, I said, no, I said, it, it's, they don't, they've never played, they don't play anybody that switches on defense. And we just switched every, all their screen, and we pushed them out to that, to their two Macklin and Scales. Scales yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those two guys were their offense. Now they had other good players, but those are, but they went to those guys. I said, if we get them out of their shooting range, then you can get back off of them and they won't be able to drive on you and beat you. Marty so Paul, that's, what, that's what we did, and we beat them by. 20, it's which is what I told. <laughs> well, the competitive fire of Coach Crum is still there. You can, uh, I hear it. I love that, Coach. Uh, Marty Paul, you're helping us bring the game, and we appreciate that. Do you have a question for one of the players? Uh, yeah, actually for Roger. Roger was the athletic director at Trinity High School when I was uh, going to school there. So, Roger, what did this 1980 experience uh, bring to you? What, what from that experience were you able to impart on the youth of Louisville, Kentucky? <laughs> yeah, Marty, thanks, and thanks uh, for all you do. Um, you know, it had a major impact on my life and obviously our, our team, um, and we've been able to share that over the years through, you know, basketball camps, through 
of, of course, I, I'm now the athletic director at Spalding University, and and I've been blessed uh, to be able to to mentor and 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 work with these young people. And as Coach Crum would always tell our, all of us players, you have to give back. And we live in a community, a, a compassionate community, that we do give back. We want to give back. We love we love our uh, university. We love our our um, you know what we what we were able to accomplish it was something really special, and I've got to give all the credit to, you know, Coach Crum and Coach Houston, Coach Olson, Coach Jones, all those coaches putting this team together. You know, guys like Wiley Brown and Jerry Eves and Scooter and Rodney and Tony Branch and Griff, of course, and Jerry. I mean, all those guys. Marty Pulliam, Greg Duzer. Uh, you couldn't put a better group of people, you know, on the floor. Um, and I was just blessed to be a part of it. That's all I can say. Guys, uh, real quick, I, and we'll start with Wiley on this. But Wiley, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and tell the, the lost th- thumb story on the on the lunch tray, going through the dumpster. <laughs> can, can, let me hear your version. Well, first of all, you're gonna you're gonna have to pay me later for me telling it. I start <laughs> charging everybody. <laughs> but no, it's, it's a, it was a true story. Um, uh, the night, the day of the championship game, we, we was going to have a shoot around and was down to eating breakfast. And, um, everybody knew that I had, I had a prosthetic on my, on my right hand for my thumb. And then, um, they made a mold of it, uh, Coos and Klein being made a mold of it. So, I mean, I'm just eating breakfast. I, you know, worried about them pancakes, sausages, and biscuits and eggs. And I laid it beside me and getting ready to go to shoot around and, uh, forgot it, uh, left it on the table and it ended up in the garbage. So, um, all the trainers, Jeremy had all the all the trainers and, and everybody uh, going through the garbage and uh, get that and um, you know that was uh, and the rest were history from there. Now they end up finding it. We don't have a name of the guy who found it. We don't know who that is, do we? I know. Uh, no, no, but I know if you had, if Jeremy was here, he would he would have a, he would have that <laughs> name. I can't. I'm not. I don't remember who found it. I know this, Wiley. You had eight points, seven assists. I know seven rebounds, eight points, and three assists. So you were definitely very productive. It didn't hurt you one bit. Congratulations to the Cards in 1980. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll come back. More with Hesek and Paul. Uh, and again, don't forget, 1980 championship game will be replayed. Starts at 7 o'clock with the pregame. 7.30 is the tip-off. Kent Taylor will be your host. Our director of sports will be right back. <laughs> 